Hi. I'm going to continue the live test this morning. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who have not seen me before, my name is Langers and I am the coffee obsessed scruffy trainer. And he needs it this morning because it's very early. It's uh, currently 20 to 7 in the morning. Um, already being up, I'm going to look around the markets for a little while. And I'm just about to continue the live test of the DAX. And the idea is to set up one trade between 7 and 8 in the morning and hopefully build up a little nest egg. Now I've been live testing this for quite a while. Uh, we're now into the third month. So I back tested it and back testing is fine. But it's always perfect world because you're not taking into account your emotional side. And regardless of whatever's said to you, your emotions will always take over constantly. So when you hear all this, hey, trade without emotion, trade mechanical with an edge, it's very difficult and it's not as simple as it's making out and this series is kind of proving that uh, the mechanical side of it is well it's just bollocks basically uh, it's utter crap it, it's nothing more than flicking a coin there has to be an element of reading the charts and understanding what is going on and that is something that is becoming more and more apparent as this test is moving forward. Anyway, enough of that. What we'll do is we'll fire up the screen. I'll show you where we're up to. And we'll see how today plays out. So if you want to see this journey continue and you want to see if I can actually get it to the goal. The minimum goal is about £1,000. But ideally I want to get it up to 2000 And I want to do that. So this side of Christmas. So smash that little subscribe button, click the like, hit the bell icon, all that sort of stuff. Genuinely helps and we'll continue. So what's this we're looking at? Well, I journal everything. Um, I keep a good idea of what it is that I'm up to and it helps me on a day to day basis. Now, this started with a balance of £500. As you can see, we've not lost a month. But this is not nothing to do with the mechanical system. It's to do with being able to read a chart. And that was... Well, I'll show you. So we started here. We took 10 positions in total. There were some split positions. So the day run was 9. So it was nine trading days. We started it part way through June. And it did quite well. So it was like, oh yeah, this is, this is amazing. But it was just a lucky streak. And that's the thing with trading. Sometimes you do hit a lucky streak. But that doesn't make you a trader. It just means you happen to have pulled the slot machine at the right time. And that became very apparent the next month. Because we following the same criteria, we got knocked senseless and we lost a lot of money. Uh, it was it was really it was hard. And now we're coming into this where I've started changing rules, pulling things out, putting things in. And it seems to be a little bit better. Uh, is it perfect? Not even close. Um, but that's the beauty of live testing. You get to learn where the mistakes are, certain things you need to look at, certain things you don't need to look at. So what is it we're looking at? This is the totals. At the moment, we are 13.7 up on the month, which considering it's only the ninth today is pretty darn good. Uh, it hasn't lost, not since I've changed things. Um, 
so I'm quite pleased with that. This section here is the compounder. In other words, it, it kind of tells me what my bid size is going to be. We're going to be at 78p today. Um, so we're edging, edging up the bids ever so slightly. And that's to do with this. This is a compound plan that I'm following. And the idea is to just edge up the money side rather than the balance. If I try to compound the balance, it's very difficult. So I compound the bid size. And when it gets to a certain level, I'll swap it over into the wage maker. And then that'll help guide me for bigger money as time moves forward. It's what these are for. Um, I use them all the time. And then you have your targeting on this side. We, we target in 1.2% day, which is now edging up. So it's about 8.33. Anything over that is a good day. Because in order for us to achieve £2,000 in a 12-month period, because I like to sort of break things down, it's about 7 69 a day. So we're on the right side of the fence. And then obviously the trades. And that is it. So we're ready to rock and roll. So if I drop that down and pull up the chart. Now today is an odd day i genuinely believe the overall movement for the market is to the downside but we're going to be going long in the first stage and it's really just to catch that initial burst now what often happens um on the dax is it'll go the wrong way before it goes the right way and you'll see that quite often and that's one of the things we kind of going to be looking at today. Um, but because I believe the overall trend of this is to the downside, if it fires through the trigger, I may just sit on it for half an hour and let it run up to the top and then catch the move coming down over. It really depends on the first sort of well, about the first 20 minutes. I don't put any orders in before 7. Reason being, the spreads are too wide. And it could catch you out. So, that, that's kind of what the game plan is. So, I'll knock the camera off now. Um, rather than sort of sit twiddling my thumbs for sort of 10, 20 minutes. And I'll come back when I'm ready to place the trick. Well, we're waiting. Okay, guys. Sorry, caught me having my cocoa pops. I could have your little childish pleasures every day. Anyway, where we're up to? It's about to hit seven o'clock. Got the chart marked in. We are going long. You know, I'll be firing the order up above here. And the idea is to get up to there, but we do have a roadblock in the middle, which I'll kind of be keeping an eye on, which is this here. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to place my order in and forget it. It's that simple. So all the order's in. Target's kind of up to that box. And that is it. Simple stuff. And the idea behind this trade is to be able to set and forget and not tinker with it. The only tinkering you want to be doing is getting out. The actual getting in, just let it get on with it. Now if this continues to go to the downside, I'm not really worried. You know, why? Just means it left me behind and um, okay I don't earn anything on these days you don't lose anything either uh, and that's the beauty of it so what we're going to do is we're just going to let it run it's a couple of minutes um, I may add a push pull the order down to the underside of there just while I'm having my cocoa pops. Uh, 
get a better price, I guess. And well, just let it get on with it, really. So let's see what happens. Was that guys straight into target took a little bit of time to wind itself up but the job is done and why stuck to a simple set of rules didn't chase the market and just let it do its thing so let's have a look how did well did it do this morning 25 quid so it's another step forward on the ladder Let's have a little look here and set this up. So we're at 78p, 25, 35. We didn't split it and we were long and I was good. So that's added 3% to the pot this morning. Pretty good, we'll live with that. That's this done for the day. Do it again tomorrow. It achieved £17 more than we needed. And why are these good? Why, why is this section very good? It's simple. It's building up the pot for the day that something goes drastically wrong. If I just cut it short, it's sort of 863 yes we win we win we win we win but when we lose we kind of taken away all the days that we build up so in theory that 17 quid over is the best part of two days worth of, of profits so i can kind of screw up on one day take a bit of a punch in the nose and i'm not that far away from my overall target what that kind of makes sense that's the idea behind that sort of thing anyway so there we go um seven positions 100 percent hit rate nearly 18 percent growth in the first part of august so result do it all again tomorrow so remember guys trade well keep your risk managed but above all what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one